Romania is holding its national parliamentary elections on the 6th of December 2020. As election enthusiasts yourselves, you might be wondering, what's going on in Romania right now? What's so special about its electoral system? And last but not least, what are some fun facts you should know about PSD, PNL, and UDMR to impress your friends at the socially distant pub trivia? By the end of this video, we hope to have most of these questions answered for you. Just a quick heads up, if you enjoy this video made by the Europe Elects volunteers, please give it a thumbs up and maybe donate to our Patreon in the description below. But for now, let's get started. Romania joined the EU in 2007, relatively recently. The country scores lower than most of its EU peers in economic and social indicators. Transparency International underlines that corruption is more prominent than in other EU countries, with 17% of public service users stating that they have had to pay a bribe in the previous 12 months. A fact which might come as a surprise to some, in terms of democracy, according to the Economist's Democracy Index, Romania even trails behind Poland, Hungary, and Bulgaria. To add to this difficult situation, Romania is seeing 9,000 new infections every day from the coronavirus pandemic. About the electoral system, Romania has a bicameral national parliament. This means that there are two legislatures that represent voters on the national level, the Camera Deputacilor, or Chamber of Deputies, and the Senat. The 329 members of the Chamber of Deputies are elected through several different methods. 308 are elected using proportional representation from 42 multi-member constituencies based on counties and the city of Bucharest. Four are elected using proportional representation from a constituency representing Romanians living abroad. Parties must pass a threshold of 5% of the national vote, or at least 20% of the vote, in four constituencies. The remaining seats, currently 17 of them, are added for ethnic minority groups that compete in the elections and pass a special lower threshold, 10% of the votes needed to obtain one of the regular seats. The 136 members of the Senate are also elected using party list proportional representation, but from 43 constituencies, with 121 seats coming from the 41 counties, 13 seats coming from Bucharest, and two seats for Romanians living abroad. Now, let's have a look at the major parties mentioned in recent polls, or those which are currently sitting in Parliament. Partidul Social Democrat, or the Social Democratic Party in English, is a center-left party. In the social arena, PSD is markedly more conservative than other social democratic parties. In a 2019 Chapel Hill survey, PSD received a higher score for traditionalism than all other major parties in Romania, including all of the EPP parties. For example, during the 2018 constitutional referendum, PSD advocated for defining family as an agreed marriage between a man and a woman instead of spouses. However, PSD has been trying to rebrand itself as a modern center-left party since the election of new leadership in August 2020. In terms of EU integration, the aforementioned Chapel Hill survey showed that PSD was the least enthusiastic of all major Romanian parties about further EU integration. However, PSD generally supports Romania's membership, as such in the European Union and NATO. It favors adopting the euro currency and wants Romania to join the Schengen area. In terms of economic policy, the PSD positions itself on the center-left, which makes it the most left-wing major party in Romania. In the current electoral campaign, PSD promises state investment in the public health and education sectors. PSD also campaigns for the creation of 1,750 new public nurseries and after-school units, free public transport for all students, as well as more pre-university scholarships. Overall, the party wants to double spending on education to 6% of the GDP by 2024. In the health sector, PSD wants to increase funding of the public health care system by at least 0.5% of the GDP by 2024. This would be achieved by, for example, creating 800 new local medical centers. The party favors expanding community testing for COVID-19. Additionally, medical workers should be tested at least once every 30 days. PSD supports a tax exemption for a period of five years for startups initiated by students or teachers under 40 years of age. PSD wants zero taxes on minimum wage incomes wants to reduce the tax for families with children and for people earning less than 1,200 euros per month. PSD also promises to double the allowance for children, 
and to increase pensions by 40% until 2024. PSD has its origins in the National Salvation Front, or FSN, an organization created by the former members of the Communist Party right after the 1989 Romanian Revolution, which resulted in the overthrow of the Socialist Republic of Romania, as well as the execution of Communist dictator Nicolae Ceausescu. The FSN formed an interim government until 1990 when they won the first post-communist presidential and parliamentary elections with over 85 and 66% of the vote, respectively. Infighting broke out, however, between the liberal reformists led by Prime Minister Petr Roman and the economically left-leaning party members from the communist era led by President Ion Iliescu. In 1993, the reformists created the Democratic Party, while the followers of Iliescu adopted the name National Democratic Salvation Front in 1992. In 93, they changed their name to the Party of Social Democracy in Romania and governed until 1996. In 2000, they returned to government as part of the Social Democratic Poll of Romania, the Electoral Alliance, and then merged with their coalition partners, the Romanian Social Democratic Party, to form today's PSD. They won the 2016 parliamentary elections, but their time in government was marked by the biggest anti-government protests since 1989, by party members leaving PSD forming the socially more progressive pro-Romania party. Liviu Dragnea, who led PSD at the time, was convicted on the 21st of June 2018 by the High Court of Cassation and Justice for abuse of office as chairman of the Teleorman County Council and sentenced to prison for three years and six months. After nominating three prime ministers consecutively in less than three years, then-Prime Minister Vioritza Dancila was toppled in November 2019 when she lost a vote of no confidence. Ever since then, PSD has been in opposition. Since 2007, PSD has been a member of the S&D Group, as well as the Party of European Socialists. Partido Nacional Liberal, the National Liberal Party, is the largest center-right political force in Romania. Chapel Hill found in 2019 that PNL is in favor of further European integration. This makes sense, considering their positive stance towards Romania's accession to both the Euro and the Schengen area. PNL holds socially conservative and traditionalist views similar to most center-right European EPP parties, such as the Italian Forza Italia or Les Républicains in France. PNL is an economically center-right party favoring a strong private sector and a reduced role for the government in the economy. As such, they pledge to digitalize some state institutions and to reduce bureaucracy. On the other hand, they support increasing public funding for health up to 6% of GDP, also through the construction of three regional hospitals in Iasi, Cluj, and Craiova, as well as 10 new health units and extensions. They also want to rehabilitate and modernize 25 country and 110 city hospitals. PNL is campaigning for the planting of 220 million forest seedlings during the period of 2021 to 2024, investing 650 million euros in the project. PNL wants to invest 6.5 billion euros in irrigation infrastructure and build over 970 kilometers of highways and express roads by 2024. They also want to support rural entrepreneurship and young farmers with a total budget of 300 million euros. At the same time, the party wants to double the number of MPs for diaspora in the national parliament and mayors to be elected in two rounds. The party intends to increase pensions by 46% by 2024, up the purchasing power of Romanians' incomes by over 30%, and reduce annual inflation below 2%. Since the democratization of Romania in 1990, PNL has spent about 13 years in government. After the Romanian Revolution of 1989, the party was refounded as a spiritual successor of the PNL that existed in the Kingdom of Romania from 1875 until 1947. It was a founding member of the former Electoral Alliance Romanian Democratic Convention, or CDR, in 1992, but then left just before the national parliamentary election that same year. That proved to be a mistake that would leave them out of the national parliament until they rejoined the CDR in 1996, which would see them forming a government. Due to differences in that coalition, they left the CDR Electoral Alliance in 2000, and in 2004 formed the Justice and Truth Alliance with the center-left Democratic Party. After winning the national parliamentary election in 2004, the Democratic Party left the governing coalition in 2007, and PNL remained in power with the center-right UDMR until 2008. 
Fast forward to 2011, when PNL formed a Social Liberal Union Electoral Alliance with PSD. The Social Liberal Union won the 2012 parliamentary elections and governed the country until 2014, when the Union Alliance dissolved after PNL left the government. Klaus Johannes, the former mayor of CBU, became the president of the party, and he won the 2014 presidential elections after a close runoff with Prime Minister and leader of the PSD, Victor Ponta. In November 2015, after the collective nightclub fire which led to Ponta's government's resignation, PNL and other parties backed Dacian Ciolos' nonpartisan government. PNL lost the 2016 parliamentary elections and remained in opposition until 2019. In 2019, following corruption allegations, convictions, and mass protests against several PSD governments, the PNL succeeded in a vote of no confidence against Prime Minister Don Chila and led a minority government with the support of PMP, UDMR, PRO, USR, and ethnic minority parties. Beginning in 2004, the party was originally a member of the liberal ALDE party. It also sat with ALDE after being elected to the EU parliament. After the 2014 European election, however, the party switched allegiances towards the center-right EPP group and its sister Euro party. USR Plus is a liberal party in Romania. In the social arena, USR Plus supports a moderately libertarian approach. For example, the party doesn't openly oppose same-sex marriage, but doesn't explicitly prioritize this issue. Overall, the 2019 Chapel Hill dataset suggests that USR Plus, or more precisely its predecessor, USR, was by far the most socially liberal party in Romania. USR Plus is strongly in favor of EU integration, in fact, more than any other party in Romania. The 2019 Chapel Hill study shows that its appetite for EU integration is, for example, similar to that of French President Emmanuel Macron's La République en Marche. As such, USR supports the EU membership and democratization of its neighbor, Moldova. As a concrete measure, the party wants to set up a Romania-based fund for democracy that financially supports civil society and the free press in Moldova. USR Plus is in favor of further European integration for Romania as well, including the adoption of the euro currency and Schengen membership. USR Plus supports a center-right approach to the economy, favoring private rather than public actors. In some areas, USR Plus proposes cutting government spending. For example, the party supports the abolition of special pension payments in the public sector, unifying the Romanian public sector and private sector pension system. Moreover, USR Plus wants to reduce the number of national MPs from 465 to 300, with more diaspora seats and electronic voting for mayors to be elected in two rounds. On the side of the state budget, USR Plus proposes the construction of new hospitals and the modernization of existing health infrastructure by investing 1 billion euros over the next four years. USR wants to see family doctors in all municipalities and nurses in all villages in the country by 2024. The party favors opening the healthcare insurance market for private actors. USR also supports the liberalization of the education sector, making it easier for pro-profit actors to set up and operate kindergartens, schools, and high schools. At the same time, USR Plus intends to introduce free warm lunches for all pre-university students in public schools, as well as afternoon school care until 5 p.m. USR Plus wants to make it easier for individuals to set up enterprises by digitalizing the administrative processes and abolishing regulations such as the laws 102-2020, 599-2020, and 108-2020. European funds under the MFF in 2021-2027, to as well as the European funds from the Next Generation EU, should be invested in, among others, renewable energy and recycling capabilities. USR Plus demands that taxes on the minimum wage should be abolished. The party supports reforestation, with the goal of covering 40% of Romania with forest by 2040. Currently, 26% of Romanian lands are covered by forest. USR Plus focuses strongly on fighting corruption in Romania. For example, USR supported the initiators of the No Convicts in Public Office campaign, which aims to bar persons convicted of intentional offenses from being elected to local government, the Chamber of Deputies, the Senate, or the Office of President of Romania by amending Articles 37 of the Romanian Constitution, which regulates the nomination rules. 
The party proposes to employ more judges in order to reduce the backlog of judicial cases, many of them relating to corruption. Moreover, the party wants to digitalize communication of procedural documents and transmit court hearings and public procurement on all administrative levels. USR Plus is headed by the leaders of its two predecessor parties, USR and Plus. Don Barna was a former Secretary of State working on the Ministry of European Funds in 2016, but resigned to join the Save the Romania Union, or USR, and was elected to the Chamber of Deputies. He ran in the 2019 presidential election, where he finished third. Dacian Ciolos, on the other hand, was an independent politician affiliated with the transnational EPP. He worked as a collaborator for many agencies and institutions throughout Europe and was appointed Minister of Agriculture from 2007 until 2008 in the center-right PNL government under Prime Minister Tarizianu. He then served as Commissioner for Agriculture and Rural Development on the EU level from 2010 until 2014. After the resignation of Victor Ponta as Prime Minister in the context of the Collective Nightclub Fire, Ciolos served as an independent Prime Minister until January 2017. He remained away from the public eye for one year, until he re-emerged to create the PLUS party. PLUS and USR later formed the Electoral Alliance 2020 Alliance for the EU Parliament election in 2019. As part of the 2020 Alliance, Ciolos became the leader of the Liberal Renew Europe group in the European Parliament. In August 2020, both agreed that USR would absorb PLUS and the party would be rebranded as USR. The Democratic Alliance of Hungarians in Romania is a center-right party that is legally designated to represent the significant Hungarian minority. According to the Chapel Hill survey, UDMR is a socially centrist party. UDMR's most important objectives are the preservation and development of the Hungarian community in Transylvania, autonomy and self-governance for the Sekerland region within Romania, as well as the cultural protection of the more isolated Hungarian-speaking communities in the country. UDMR supports the right to use of the mother tongue in all segments of private and public life, and for the option to receive education in Hungarian for Hungarian speakers. UDMR has centrist economic policies. It wants to reduce bureaucracy and decentralized administration. It proposes that small and medium-sized enterprises should receive a state subsidy until the end of the coronavirus pandemic, worth half of the monthly gross salary, but not more than 500 euros to employ persons under the age of 29 or re-employ employees who have lost their job. The condition of this grant would be, according to UDMR, that new employees would be kept at work for a year. UDMR proposes to subsidize wages by granting a state subsidy of 41.5% of gross salary for those employees who return from technical unemployment and are employed for at least six months instead of the current three months. In the context of the ongoing coronavirus pandemic, they want to reopen primary schools which have been closed as a measure against the spread. UDMR backs further EU integration through, for example, the adoption of the euro and Romania's accession to the Schengen area. UDMR has been in multiple governments or has supported them in parliament since 1990. The party has ties with the Hungarian Fidesz party. Influential Hungarian Prime Minister and European Council member Viktor Orban, for example, campaigned for the UDMR in the 2019 European Parliament election. UDMR is a member of the EPP party. Their MEPs also sit in the corresponding EPP group in the European Parliament. PMP is a center-right political party which tends to be more conservative than the other two Romanian EPP members, UDMR and PNL. PMP is a socially conservative party that favors traditionalist over libertarian values for society. PMP advocated, for example, during the 2018 constitutional referendum to define family as an agreed marriage between man and woman instead of spouses. PMP favors decentralization, and they also back the No Convicts in Public Office initiative, which intends to ban convicted criminals from holding public office. The Chapel Hill data shows that PMP is the most right-wing major party when it comes to economic policy in Romania. In the election campaign, PMP wants to reduce the number of MPs from 465 to 300 and transform Romania's national parliamentary system from a bicameral one to a unicameral one, as stipulated in the 2009 referendum. 
They propose the reduction of taxes and bureaucracy so it becomes easier to create a company. PMP is in favor of the future integration of the European Union so that one day the EU can transform into a United States of Europe. PMP backs the adoption of the euro and wants Romania to join the Schengen area. PMP is also in favor of Western Balkan countries to join the EU and back the idea of unification between Romania and Moldova. However, PMP opposes mandatory refugee quotas as proposed by the European Commission in the past. PMP was created in 2013 to support the then president of Romania, Traian Bașescu. PMP was formalized as a party in 2014. Since then, they've been a small, albeit stable, political force in Romania. PMP is a formal member of both the EPP group and party. Pro-Romania is a center-left party that is set to merge with the centrist Alde Romania. Pro and Alde party members are allowed to run on the pro list in the upcoming 2020 national parliament election. The party favors centrist economic policy. In the ongoing election campaign, Pro promises investments into transportation infrastructure, for example, relating to the development of the Pan-European Corridor 4 and the expansion of the Henri Coanda International Airport. The party wants to invest in government programs that encourage young people to become entrepreneurs, introduce a scholarship program for young people who come from disadvantaged backgrounds, and increase the number of social workers that work around vulnerable groups and in crime prevention. In the context of the recession brought on by COVID-19, PRO proposes a basic income of 410 euros per month for singles or 920 euros per month for families with at least three people. In terms of health, Pro-Romania wants to reopen schools, which have all been closed due to the ongoing pandemic, and to make COVID-19 testing free for all citizens. The Chapel Hill study places Pro-Romania as a socially centrist party, with a slight tendency towards traditionalist policies very similar to its EPP competitors, but more liberal than its national S&D partner, PSD. Pro-Romania wants to implement the provisions of the Istanbul Convention, which aims to end violence against women and domestic violence, into Romanian law, as well as make buildings, public spaces, and public transport accessible to people with disabilities. Pro-Romania is, according to Chapel Hill, somewhat in favor of EU integration, and supports the membership of Romania in the European Union. Pro was created in 2018 by former Prime Minister Victor Ponta, with other former members of the PSD over disagreements on how PSD approached issues around corruption and the rule of law while in government. Victor Ponta stands as their main candidate in this election. Pro-Romania joined the SND group in the European Parliament in 2019. They are, however, not members of the Party of European Socialists, but of the centrist transnational European Democratic Party. The Partidul Puteri Umaniste, or the Party of Humanist Power in English, is a centrist political party in Romania. The party wants to give more power to trade unions, making it easier to form one by reducing the number of members required and by allowing them to collectively bargain. They favor a protectionist economy with subsidized local agricultural production while imposing higher regulations on imported products. The PPU was founded by members of the now defunct centrist Conservative Party, which refused to merge with Alde Romania. PPU has enjoyed minor success in local elections and managed to maintain Maria Grappini's seat in the European Parliament due to an electoral alliance with the PSD in the 2019 European election. Influential party figure Don Wojcielewski is the owner of Intact Media Group, which owns Antenna 3, one of the biggest political TV channels in the country. He has spent four years in jail for corruption. The PPU has one member in the European Parliament since 2020, who sits with the center-left S&D group. Designated parties in Romania are allowed to legally represent ethnic minority groups. The number isn't constant, but it is always varied between 10 and 18, depending on how many groups are officially recognized in an election year. Currently, there are 17 parties representing a different ethnic minority. They are the Centrist Association of Italians of Romania, abbreviated as RO AS EAT, which is part of the transnational EDP that predominantly sits with the Renew Europe group. There's also the AMR, Association of Macedonians of Romania, the Bulgarian Union of Banat Romania, 
the community of the Lipovan Russians in Romania, the Cultural Union of Ruthenians in Romania, the Democratic Forum of Germans in Romania, the Democratic Turkish Union of Romania, the Democratic Union of Slovaks and Czechs in Romania, which is part of the transnational European political movement, which sits with either the center-right EPP or national conservative ECR in the EU Parliament, the Federation of the Jewish Communities of Romania, the Hellenic Union of Romania, the League of Albanians in Romania, the Party of Roma, which represents Romani groups, the Union of Armenians of Romania, the Union of Croatians in Romania, the Union of Poles in Romania, the Union of Serbs in Romania, and finally, the Union of Ukrainians in Romania.